Hi guys, Teron145 here, bringing you episode 6 of Pokemon Leaf Green, the Nuzlocke Run. In the last episode, let's see, it's been a long time since I've come to this, so time to recap. I caught a Geodude, and I caught a Nidoran female named Struler. Oh, and I caught a Sandshrew. I'm going to check this house out before we set off. Ah uh, yes, talk to this old man and he will give you... Yes, I have interest in berries, kind sir. I got the powder jar! Huh? They installed a wireless adapter machine for crushing berries. This is where you come in. I have a favor to ask, one that I can trust only to you. you make berry powder for me, for change. Self! Oh, people. Don't forget, the machine is at the direct corner of Pokemon Centers. I'll concoct medicine for you if you bring me some berry powder. Don't forget, crush berries with the berry powder and bring it to me. Mm. This is essentially for a minigame that requires two people to do. And because I'm doing this on, well, my Wii's emulator, I can't freaking do that. Let's talk to this old timer. Only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. Somehow I highly doubt that. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets, did you know? Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? Eh, tell me about the Boulder Badge. The attack set of all your Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you use the move Flash outside of battle. This guy basically tells you what each badge will do. Like, I assume that with the Boulder Badge in tow, whenever your Pokemon gets sent into battle, the physical attack stat already has plus one to it. So it's like you use bulk up, but you know, without the defense boost. Okay, here's a yeah, here's the rare candy. Alright, with that in tow, let's just get out of here. You can talk to them about it, all the others, the other seven badges, but I'm not going to. Um, yes, I wish to go this way. Running shoes. The people here were robbed! It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. <sighs> As you can clearly see, there is a Team Rocket member right there. Uh, I really do want to get get there, get back there so I can fight that douche. Because he has a TM I want. The TM is 28, and it contains the Iggy. Now, up, up here, right up ahead. Yo, Tehran! You still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me show you what I caught. Oh, no, that's, let me see what you caught. Oh, I read that entirely incorrectly. Is that a level 17 Pidgeotto? What, 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 the, what, the, what, the, what? Hex! You can't have that! Anyway, this is your rival's level 17 Pidgeotto, which is obviously freaking hacked. It doesn't have any item on it. Has the ability Keen Eyes, so... Don't, don't fucking bother trying to lower its accuracy. You're not gonna get anywhere. And it knows tackle- CRITICAL HIT! <laughs> I didn't even get to finish the bio! Okay, it knows tackle, gust, sand attack, and quick attack. Next up is his level... 15 Manta? So his Truler's gonna take care of that. Whisker's got a freaking crit. I love my Rattata. This thing has no item and it has the Guts ability. With the moves... Well, Tail Whip, obviously. Tackle, Quick Attack, and Hyper Fang. Kill it quickly. Otherwise, you risk getting hit with Hyper Fang, and that's no good. Shit, he's doing a decent half to all my pokes. This is not good at all. Next up is his level 16 Abra. Now, Abra
Chakra is level 16, but it hasn't evolved into Kadabra yet. You know what that means? It only knows Teleport! Also, it has no item with the ability to synchronize. I suppose in a real fight, this thing would be teleporting all over the place. And that would be no bueno, but it's not doing that. That's not how it works in this game. Damn it! Bulbasaur. Oh, that's right. I will not switch. Yet. Mm -hmm. This is his Bulbasaur. Level 18. Ability, Overthrow. With no item. It would move Tackle, Growl... What the hell? Okay, it must know Tackle, Leech Seed, Fine Whip, and Sleep Powder. Forget what I said about Growl. Oh shit. Did I at least pick... What the fuck? No. Son of a... Goomba! I don't have one! Yeah, hey, Avion, you're just gonna have to wake up. Five damage. Yeah, bro, you're really doing some massive damage there. Bulbapedia, you lied to me! Okay, Leech Seed, Vine Whip, Sleep Powder, and Tackle must be the last move, because I don't think it's Growl. Two turns! F Die! Aww. Mm -hmm. Ah! Leech Seed! Shoot! So, um... Right. How this Nuzlocke run is going to continue on? For wild Pokemon, I've got my own style of files that I'm going to do. Strudler's level 16. Alright. Hey, take it easy. You won already. <laughs> Strudler is evolving. And I have a Moonstone. I'm just trying to decide on when I should evolve Strudler into Nidoqueen. I have a Nidorina! Fuck yeah, pick up! Fuck yeah, headbutt! Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. Oh, really? That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bills, Bills world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. You're a jerk. What the hell? Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Fame checker? What does this do? A chatty gossip like you? That thing's perfect! You're kidding, right? I'm a silent protagonist. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. <clears throat> Alright, this time I really am gone. Smell ya! What a jerk. Okay, I need to heal up. Because this Pokemon dealt half of my Pokemon's HP. Which is freaking cheap. But, yeah. Okay, when should she evolve? What moves does she learn before like, level 43, because I know level 43, Nido Queen gets superpower, and I kind of want that. I kind of want that. Yeah, I want Whiskers to evolve from that. What are your stats? 25, 28, 24, 23, 26. Beastly. Oh, you're still only part poison. Hmm. Intriguing. Uh, why the fuck did I say that? Oh, I forgot to go over the rival's other two starters. Damn. Okay, I'll just do that now. Wait. Yeah, before that. This is Nugget Bridge, and, it has, and the route has some pretty damn good music. We're here on Route 24. So, new Pokemon. Abra. 
rare as hell. If you're playing Leaf Green like me, you can get a Bell Sprout. There's also Caterpie, Kakuna, and Metapod. Oh, Weedle too, but yeah, Weedle too. Um, Oddish if you're playing Fire Red. And of course, Pidgey! Now, um, Biles will probably flash up in a second, which will cut the video out. Alright, so I finally figured out how I'm going to get my Biles to work for this particular series. Instead of just having a picture of the one Pokemon you can find on the route, with a bunch of annotations surrounding it telling you information, I decided I'm going to draw everything out, since I don't know how to computer generate things. Yeah, it's tedious, but it works, so I'm not going to complain. Just a disclaimer, these drawings are not actually drawn by me. I trace these. The only thing that has any true effort put into them is the coloring. So, make, see that as you will. But anyway, this is the Oddish family. Oddish is a good Pokemon once you get it trained up. However, when you catch it, like, at the beginning of the game, like right now, its, it's, it's speed is very bad for a grass type which pretty much ensures that it's going to go last in every fight. And its defenses are, well, its physical defenses is lackluster, its special defenses and all that bad. But anyway, as you can see to the, to the right side of my right side of this bio, I have the stats listed when Oddish fully evolves into bio form. Now, as you can clearly see, it's a great special attacker. Its special defense is pretty good too, but its speed is incredibly low. This thing is slower than most Pokemon in the game. Its other evolution, Bellossum, its special defense is the equivalent to Bioplume's special attack, and its special attack is the equivalent to Bioplume's special defense. But you can't get Bellossum until after you beat the Pokemon League, so you're stuck with Bioplume. Also, uh, Oddish is a Fire Red exclusive. Leaf Green players like me, you get another Pokemon that's coming up later. Okay, moving on to the next one! Alright, next up we have the Abra family. Now, as all of you know, Alakazam is one of the greatest psychic type Pokemon in the game. It's... I always thought Abra was super rare, but as you can see here, it has a 15%, you have a 15% chance of encountering it on this route. If you find, if you can actually catch one, even if you can't trade to get it evolved into Alakazam, Kadabra is still a really good um, special sweeper. It's fast, it can take special hits, and any, pretty much any special attack it uses is... I guess you can consider it a one-hit KO. It's physical attack, Pointless, it's physical defense. You get hit with a ghost type move in this generation, you can consider your Kadabra or Alakazam just gone. But yeah, if you can catch one, I recommend it. I mean it would help for a Nuzlocke run. Hmm. You can you can catch Kadabra later on in the game, but that's not until after but that yeah, that's not until after you get the national deck, so you're better off getting an Abra. No, seriously, you're better off getting Abra. And last up on Route 24, we have Bellsprout. The Bellsprout family is, elite, is the Leaf Green equivalent to the Oddish family. And honestly, I think Leaf Green got the better deal with this. Sure, as you can clearly see, Big Tree Bell's defenses are crap, but it is faster than Bioplume and Bell Awesome. And it's a, it's a great mixed attacker. Since poison is all poison moves are considered physical in this generation, you could give you could, in theory, just slap on Sludge Bomb and some powerful grass type attack. Your victory bill can just go crazy against everything. And it gets a lot of HP, so it kinda of makes up for the defenses. Of course, as you can clearly see here on the catchable locations, Fox thing. Bellsprout's everywhere. If you don't get one here, you can get one on Route 25 right after this. Or you can get it on the route directly below Cerulean City. But I'm gonna cover that, but I'm gonna cover all that later. And Bellsprout is amazing because its Pokedex number is 69. 
Yep. Alright, back to the episode. And, um, just be me talking about Pokemon stats. Yeah! Pokemon stats, because it's so fucking cool. What's wrong with me? I want Whiskers to evolve, so we're gonna take on this Nugget Bridge challenge. People call this the Nugget Bridge. He has five trainers and went a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? This guy's pretty good at sales pitching. Bug Catcher Kale. The level 10 Caterpie! What's wrong with you, bro? I love you, Whiskers! Critical hit! So anyway, the other part of this Nuzlocke Runner Mine that's gonna, um... Um... Fudge. I'm losing my train of thought. The other part of this that's gonna be a little gimmick. Most people, they either do a video run of their Nuzlocke Run, or they just make comics and, and leave it at that. I, on the other hand, well... You guys know me. I can't draw to save my life, so instead, I, I plan. I actually want to write out my Nuzlocke run, you know, in story format, so it so it actually has its own take on the story, so it doesn't seem boring as crap. What would you all think of that? Wait a minute. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to before this episode is uploaded. Well, before I can upload this episode, I have to finish episodes 2 through 5. I have to make that 2 through 6, because i got to do this one. Woo! Good stuff! Wait, wait, what?! Oh, my Pope, my, my strategy guy lied to me! Radita doesn't evolve until level 20 in this generation. I thought, I thought it was a change to... <laughs> Miyamoto! God darn it! I'm second. Now it's serious. Well, someone's a little conceited. Well, this is the first last that didn't like say anything provocative or provoking. Well, I guess the game's finally taking a turn. Nah, no, it's not. Oddish. Hyper Fang is such a dangerous attack. My good lord! Yeah, I've been watching a little too much Proton John recently, so... I'd be surprised if I, if I quote Let's Plays that I'm always watching. I quote Chugga, Chugga Conroy all the time. How can I lose? Well, for one thing, Whiskers is in the top percentage of Radita, so... I did my best. I have no regrets. That's the attitude! I did my best. I have no regrets. You all, all five of you say the exact same thing, don't you? Oh, you have got to be shysting. I don't walk one extra step! Here's number three! I won't be easy! We'll see about that, bro. We'll see about that. Timmer! Attack. You fucking troll. Uh huh. I ain't gonna deal with that. What's gonna take a breather? Leonardo, handle the soon to be dead weight. Damn. I did like nothing. Water gun! Blarg! It's super effective. Hmm. I think I'll evolve Struler right now, after this fight. It will probably... I mean, if I wanted to use her for the gym battle against Misty, I would keep her as a, um, mid arena because she's only... because she's only a mono poison type right now. But when she evolves into mid queen, she becomes hard ground, which means... Misty's only water attack, which is, um, Water Pulse. That would do some... That would not be good to get hit with. Ow! Stop! Flat! 
Yeah, bro. I did my best. I have no regrets. Yep, it's the exact same darn thing. You know, I'm almost level 19. Let's just, let's just do it. I'm number four. Getting tired. That can be taken the wrong way. Quick attack! Your defense is a crap! Critical hit! Oh my god. This is the true top percentage of Radita. Right here. Right here. Why? Well, I'm better fucker. At least twice the amount of defense as the male male ants do. Twice on a bicycle. Twice on a bicycle. Twice on a bicycle. Twice on a bicycle. I lost too! I did my best, so I have no regrets. Well, at least hers was different. Okay, antidote. Heal you up. Hey, I maxed out the happiness on this girl's. If I were to teach her, um, the turn, I'd be pretty damn golden, actually. I think I remember this guy. Alright, check your defense. 34, my I would. Sandra, get in there, this is your fight. Okay, I'm number 5. I'll stop you! Cool story, bro! So yeah, I'm gonna write out my Nuzlocke runs. I've already gotten the opinion of Jedi Cody 2. The one, you know, the one guy who's really into this entire series. Someone's honking their horn obnoxiously outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, that, that can't be someone honking the horn systematically like that. You bitch. What the hell? Die! Take that, Ethan. Whoa! Too much! I did my best. I have no regrets. Is she the only original one? Really? Okay, now to just finish off whoever the hell that is. Congratulations! You beat our five contest trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize! Holy shit, it's a nugget! You can sell that for $5,000, by the way. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? <laughs> yes! What? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. I want to join! Wanna join? Hell yeah! Are you sure? Yeah! Come on, join us! I'm saying yes! I'm telling you to join! I'm saying yes! Okay, you need convincing. No, I don't! I'll make, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I wasn't refusing the offer! Uh, I want to talk to this guy's manager. Oh, I know why he wasn't accepting my yes. It's because I don't speak text. Fang! Flinch! Quick attack! Death! This is the top percentage of Radita. Oh wow, she missed! If you think uh, for one second I'm gonna let Whiskers hit herself. Bitch, you mad? Nah. <laughs> Bitch, you mad? Leonardo, handle the soon-to-be dead weight. You asshat. Oh, 
20 minutes already and I'm just getting done with Nugget Bridge. Crap. Hmm. Why? Crazy Boston. God damn it. Damn. Well, at the very least Leonardo isn't gonna do much damage to himself. I have to go back and heal after this anyway. Snap out of confusion. Blarg! Hey, you die now. I'll make you a moth when you can't refuse. Arr, you are good. Well, son of a bitch, I wanted to join. With your ability, you become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. I want to join. How stupid are you? Wait a minute. You still have a you still have a decent amount of HP. 523. Forget it. Oh come on, you're still not done! I guess I have to beat Misty if I want to go and get dig. Oh uh, god! No gear! That was kind of unnecessary. Okay, I don't want this episode to be 40 minutes long, so to conclude this episode... Okay, Neo Queen learns two moves after it evolves. That's Body Slam and Super Power. Body Slam at level 22 and Super Power at level 43. So I am going to totally use this Moonstone. Strudler, it's time to evolve. By the way, fun fact, when you use a stone to evolve a, a Pokemon, you cannot press B to, um, cancel the evolution. I mean, I suppose I could have stayed until level 34 to get Fury Swipes, or level 26 to get Help of Hand, but there are no, there are like no double battles in here that I'm going to go through. You know, except until we get to the Sebi Islands. Even then, well, I'm not doing that, so, what's the point? Neato Queen! Struler! And just like that, she boosted her attack stat to, to rival Sandra. Okay! That was a pretty... Damn it. Wait, did I, did I finish Gary's like? Oh, I didn't! Okay, I better do that now before I forget. He also has a Charmander at level 18. Well, if you pick Bulbasaur, that is. And it has Blaze, Scratch, Growl, Ember, and Metal Claw. No item. Duh. And if you pick, um, Charmander, we'll have a level 18 Squirrel. No item with the ability Torrent. Tackle, Tail Whip, Water Gun, and Bubble. Why he didn't evolve any of those three is, is anyone's guess. Alright. That concludes episode 5 of Let's Play Pokemon League Green. The Nuzlocke Run. I'll see you guys next time. By the way, I have Skype. Yeah. Which one do I save? Right, this. Okay. Have a good one. Monday, August 1st, 2011. Before setting off the bills, home, I decided to take the time to explore Cerulean City. A kind old man gave me a berry crusher. Arceus knows I may never use it, but it was a kind gesture. A gentleman next door gave me info on the eight badges, but I still don't quite understand his explanations. A policeman informed me of Team Rocket activity, which does not bode well. To make matters worse, Kaylin decided to block my progress to Nugget Bridge. The team took him down with no casualty, and he gave me the fame checker, which I... I'm not sure I'll ever use. The time finally came to cross Nugget Bridge. That was after Whiskers took down those five easy trainers. I received a nugget for my troubles and was offered a chance to join Team Rocket. I accepted the offer, but the grunt seemed to misunderstand my intentions. Oh well. Before giving the team a break, I used a Moonstone on Strudler shortly after she evolved into Nidorina. 
now she's a needle queen and I expect her to kick some serious tail. After this break, Route 25 is next. <laughs>